What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Hoops Respective. I'd like to give a special shout out to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video today. SeatGeek is a ticket app that takes the confusion out of buying tickets, all right? They use a 0 out of 10 score on each ticket to know if you're getting a good or a bad deal. Green means good, red means bad. All right, don't waste any more time today. Get your first tickets using my promo code Hoops Perspective to take $20 off your first purchase. That's promo code Hoops Perspective. Now let's get into the video. A top shooting guard and one of the best players in the 2020 class, Josh Christopher is easily one of the most elite offensive talents in the entire nation. His advanced skill set on offense makes it extremely difficult for a defender to stop him one-on-one, -on -one. and if it comes down to it, Josh uses his pro body and athleticism to bully his way to the rim for an easy bucket. Josh is a big shot taker and a big shot maker that can virtually score whenever he wants. And in this breakdown, we'll be taking a good look at how Josh makes it look so easy. Only a junior, Josh has already proven he's one of the most skilled shooters in the entire country. His quick release and his elevation on his jump shot allows him to be a deadly catch and shoot threat on the perimeter. Pulling up in transition for a deep three isn't an issue for Josh either. And off the dribble, Josh uses his slick handle and solid footwork to get separation from his defenders to get a shot off. Josh's offensive skill set gets compared to Nick Young, and you can see it when he plays. His one dribble pull up and turnaround jumper from mid range is very similar to Nick Young, and they both seem to shoot better when the hand is in their face. Consistency is the main thing he needs to improve on. He was a below 35% three point shooter his sophomore year and this summer on the EYBL circuit. But he's still very young, so he has plenty of time to improve in this area. In the half court set, Josh is great at getting in the lane and finishing at the rim. He isn't super explosive off the dribble. Right now, he really relies on his handle and strength to get to the rim, but it works for him. Josh uses his 220 pound frame to bully his way to the hoop and finish strong at the cup. He's a very under controlled attacker. I like the way he attacks the help D when using ball screens. He can freeze you with crossovers and get around defenders in the paint with euros, spin moves, and pro hops. He draws so much attention on offense that it's common for two or three defenders to collapse on him and Josh reacts really well to this with smart passes. He's a pure scorer, but Josh definitely has the potential to be a solid playmaker in the future. Josh can push the ball on the break and finish at the rim with the best of them. Like I said earlier, he isn't super explosive off the dribble, and he's no speed demon in transition, but he's very poised and under control, and just so strong when attacking, it really makes it difficult to slow him down. He changes gears in the open court exceptionally well with crossovers and hesitation moves, and Josh's above average leaping ability allows him to finish strong above the rim. Josh is just too strong and athletic for opposing guards at the high school level. He really is a man amongst boys when he decides to put his head down and get to the rim. Well, here's my verdict. Out of all the top scorers in the 2020 class, or in any class really, it's hard for me to think of too many players better than Josh at putting the ball in the hole. At only 16 years old, Josh has a pro skill set offensively to go along with his pro body, which makes him a special player to keep an eye on. He has two more years of high school left, which means more time to improve on his weaknesses and sharpen his tools. If he becomes more of a consistent shooter and improves his defensive motor, there's no reason why Josh wouldn't remain at the top of the national rankings once he's ready to go to college.